everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I have made a mini pizza box to go with our supremely awesome stamp set. I love this set. It's so fun. It's got some funny little sayings in it. And I mean, who doesn't love pizza, right? Um, now, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. It'll take you back to my blog where there is a free PDF and two other projects. I'll have five supremely awesome projects um, over the week. So if you're looking for ideas, make sure you click back and forth on my blog to check out the other projects. So what's inside my little pizza box? Well, a pizza, of course, a gummy pizza. <laughs> now, I'm not sure how much I wanna eat the gummy pizza, but I know my kids loved this gummy pizza. All right, so let's make the box. I will have a link to where I bought those over on my blog for you. All right, you're gonna need a piece of thick basic white that is four and a fourth by eight. On the long side, you're gonna score it at half an inch three and three fourths, four and a fourth, and then seven and a half. Now turn it to the short side and score it at half an inch and three and three fourths of an inch. Now you're gonna want to grab your bone folder and burnish those lines really well. I made this pizza box to fit this candy specifically, um, but it could hold other things too. I had some gummy pizza slices as well, but I can't remember where I got them and I couldn't find them online. So, but I did find these cute little pizzas and I think they're actually cuter. So, you know, look around, see what you can find to go in your pizza box. Now grab your paper snips and we're gonna cut the score lines along the long side. And I'm gonna cut off the corners, the outside corners of the outside squares. And then this one, I'm just gonna cut both corners, okay? Let's see if I can get those little things to come off. All right, so snip and then snip, okay? Do the same thing over here snip. I've got stuff sticking to my paper snips. Snip. Snip, snip. Cut off the corners. Cut off the corners. And snip. Cut out the outside corner. So this is what your piece looks like. This is the inside of your box. And we're going to put adhesive on the outside of all six of those tabs. Tear and tape would be great. Um, I'm gonna use liquid glue. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of, of liquid glue on the outside of each. Um, here in the humid climate where I live, I find that tear, um, liquid glue is the best. So now fold up the sides and press in to your other, the press the tab into the side. And then I have these little clothes pins I like to use. Okay, and that's gonna hold it closed. Make sure it's square. And that's gonna hold it closed while you work on the next part. Okay, so we'll clip. Make sure the edges touch. This is a pretty small piece, so it can get a little bit a little bit tedious. You'll want to make sure you have small paper clips or clothespins. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. We're going to set that aside and we're going to do our stamping. Now we're going to make this checkered border by stamping our long piece four times. Let me bring over some red paper. And I'm going to do it in real red. All right, so grab my real red. And I'm just gonna start at the bottom. They don't have to be straight because we are cutting them apart, but it makes it easier for your cutting if you get them close together, I think. All right, so you're gonna wanna do four of them. There we go. And then you're also going to get the 
sentiment, you're supremely awesome. And I left off the your, and I just put supremely awesome because we're gonna fussy cut those. And I didn't wanna do too much fussy cutting. Okay, so now let me see if I have my trimmer. Oh, I do, it's right here. And I'm just gonna start trimming these. You can stick that red line right there, the edge of it, right in the gutter of your trimmer as you go, and it'll cut it perfectly. So I, because I, Cut them close together it's just really easy to just slide the paper down and cut if i was really good i could get them all lined up next to each other which i could not then it would be even easier maybe if you use your um, um stamparatus you could definitely do that all right one last one there we go okay now you're gonna need a three by three uh, basic white square. And I am just going to put these on the edge of my square and then trim them. So I'm gonna start up here, match that edge. Make sure that you're matching the edge. Okay. And then we'll do the same thing down here. And then we'll go across. And as I go across, I kind of tried to line up the pattern. I mean, I didn't really stress over it too much because it might not line up on both sides. Whoops, up. Oh. But you can try. Let's see if you can get those little checks to line up. And then the last one will go right here. Okay, so now we're gonna trim these off. Snip, snip. All right, so there we have it. All right, I have cut out a stylus shape square. It's a, let's see how big it is. Well, I only have my centimeter paper. Let's see, it is right at about one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. I'm gonna take my pizza chef and I we're just gonna stamp the upper part of him. We're only gonna get a little snippet of him. And I wanna make sure I get his face and some of the pizza on there. There we go, perfect. All right, so now, if you watched my other video, I'm gonna color him exactly the same. I'm gonna take my smoky slate and just add in some color around the edges of his jacket. And then I'm gonna take my, oh, I need to do that up here too. that and then I'm going to take my color lifter and bleed that color out kind of just creates a shadow on his um, chef's jacket and give it some time it takes a little bit of time for it to all do what you want it to do okay then let's cover color that pizza I've got ivory for the crust I've got Daffodil Delight for the cheese. And Real Red, of course, for a pepperoni, Real Red Light. But you could do dark too, I think that would be just fine. I'm gonna use Petal pink for his hand, 
and his face. We've got a ton of different choices for skin tones with our natural blends marker, natural tone blend marker. So check those out. I'm gonna give him some little rosy cheeks with a dark petal pink. And then last but not least, I'm gonna take my smoky slate and color in that pie, that uh, pan, I'm sorry, the pan. Okay, now let's mat it on a piece of garden green. Like that. And um, dimensional, we're gonna put this onto our little background that we created with dimensionals. go. Now I had mentioned we were going to fussy cut this. So let's see, let me grab my pencil. And to cut out words, I like to draw just a pencil line to outline. So I know where I'm cutting. This is going to take some of the guesswork out while you're cutting. You don't have to kind of guess where your scissors go. You can just follow this pencil line that you've created. It really does make a big difference. I promise. Okay, grab those paper snips. Cut off all this excess cardstock. It's gonna make it a lot more difficult if you keep that on there. And then just follow your pencil line. Our paper snips, I sing their praises every week. They are the one of the best tools that we have. Um, they're about $10 and they are exactly what you need to fussy cut. They're very sharp. All right, and then let's do the other one. There we go. Now, if you have any pencil lines, which I do over here, just take your eraser and erase them. Okay, bring this back over and I'm gonna put these on with liquid glue. Supremely awesome. There we go. Okay, now all we need to do is put our pizza in our box. And put our decorations on the top. It closes over just like a pizza box does. Tucks in like that. And then you can put stamp and seal on the back. I didn't mess that up and stick that right there on top of your box. All right, wouldn't that make a fun party favor? Yes, I think it would. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Hop over and get that free PDF over on my blog. Check out my other supremely awesome projects and let me know if you have questions. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.